need a minute to think Or maybe two We just got here and it's already started to rain I can feel the rain on me We didn't come yesterday because it was raining But today's our last day in Pattaya It's the last day we could come to Koh Lan, So um, <laughs> we're going home tonight to Chiang Mai So this is our last chance And it's already raining on us but we're gonna make the best of this situation. It's getting really bad. So I don't know if you heard that, but as soon as we said that, the massive bolt of thunder and lightning just struck. And apparently it is meant to be a thunderstorm at 1 p.m., which is in about 15 minutes. And then hopefully it stops after that. Tomorrow, I keep repeating the same mistakes. Okay, it's like really stormy right now. There's like water going everywhere. Okay, so we took the big boat over here. It took about 25 to 30 minutes and I kind of expected it to take about 40. It was 30 baht each and to get a speedboat, I think it was 150 baht each. So I'm okay to sit on the boat for a little bit longer for a little bit cheaper of a, of a price. Um, but as soon as we got here, we <laughs> encountered some rain. That's thunder if you can hear it. And we've kind of been sitting in a cafe, drinking a coffee, eating for the last maybe hour or so just to wait for the rain to pass because it was pouring down, like pouring down rain. And this was our first sort of sunny day that we did have in Pattaya. So we we're hoping that we were able to get some sun out of this trip, but we haven't so far. <laughs> so now we're just gonna buy some ponchos. So to be honest, this, the rain kind of threw away any video idea I had planned for this. So we're winging it at the moment. And if you don't know what winging it means, it means doing things on the fly and figuring it out as we go. So we just picked up some raincoats from 7-Eleven. And about to get run over by a car. <laughs> and we're just walking through the little village. We're deciding whether we get a bike rental or we just catch a local like tuk-tuk or something just to take us to the beach so we can sit on the yeah. beach in the rain <laughs> in our ponchos. We're not spend, uh, planning on spending the whole day here, so... Well, not anymore. Just, yeah, just getting to one or two beaches is probably easier by, by uh, Tuk Tuk. So we decided to go with a bike, we rented one in the village and then there was a pretty short drive, I think it took about 8 minutes to this beach. Which one is it? Which one's this? Tian Beach. Tian Beach. So we're here at the moment, we had to walk, park our bike, walk along this sort of like overpass little bridge thing and now we are here on the beach, my first actual beach in Thailand, I mean minus Pattaya yesterday, but this is my first actual beach, my first swim in a Thailand beach as well. So this is exciting. Ooh stepping on some seashells and stuff here oh yes oh I love the feeling of Thailand water it's so beautiful all right I think I'm gonna have to have a swim because I can still hear thunder and I'm scared it's gonna come back and get us but this is beautiful there's a massive mountain and look at this beach I have not seen a Thai beach before this is crazy you pay for a seat and then you leave your stuff on the seat and then you can go into the water <laughs> Amazing! The water is so beautiful. There's an island behind me. The water is so warm. It's like a bath. This is absolutely beautiful. This is my first swim in a Thai beach. <laughs> Look how beautiful this is. As you can hear this, you've got boats out there. It's quite shallow here. It's just nice to lay in. Oh, this is so beautiful the water is immaculate it's amazing this is oh something touched my foot oh 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 let's run away <laughs> just gonna head back up to where Michael's standing he hasn't had a chance to come in the water yet so let's head back up here and I think we only have the bike for two hours it's also very late in the evening and we have to fly sort of back to Bangkok or Chiang Mai tonight too, so whew, that was amazing.
Okay, so we are here. We stopped at some lookout point to look over this beautiful beach over here. Um, I do think that if you caught a boat, uh, like the boat here, on the other side of where we caught it, then you kind of end up in this area and you're kind of stuck here. Um, but the boat, the ferry that we took here, you kind of get off in the middle of that little village, that little town, and then you can rent bikes, you can kind of do more things. Uh, so if we didn't end up getting that boat, then we would have had to stay in this one general area. Look at the paragliders. Where are they? <laughs> Whoa. But this beach does look like there is a kind of a lot of water sports, but there was, you know, jet skis, boats, uh, tubing and all that happening where we were as well. And I liked our beach. It was kind of like a very quiet side beach. This one looks like it has like cafes and like houses and built up more, but still beautiful. Look at that view. See that? trying to find the way around the one-way streets to take the bike back. We were driving to take the bike back and then we were driving past and I saw that they had durian and I haven't tried durian yet and everyone's telling me to try durian so let's try some. Sadika! Uh, uh, Alright, I'm so excited! So we got the ferry here, um, but it's like 4 p.m. and I'm like wet, and I think we want to go home a little bit faster. We missed the ferry, so we have to wait an hour until 5 p.m. if we were to get on that. So Michael luckily paid for the speedboat ride. We Okay, so we've got the speedboat back from the Polan. I would actually honestly recommend that. It really wasn't that bumpy. I know it was a little bit more expensive. It was 150 baht per person, but we were literally back in probably five minutes as opposed to 30 to 40 on the ferry. So if it's within your budget, remember the ferry was 30 baht each, then I would probably recommend grabbing the ferry there just so you have the experience. And then getting the speedboat back. Um, it's a long day when you're on an island and you're swimming and all that. So it's probably good to get home as quick as possible if you want to. So I do have the durian in my back, in my back, in my bag it's probably smelling out my entire backpack by now but we bought it from a little vendor a lady that we saw when we were riding through the streets of Kolan so we bought it from her it was so expensive it was 315 baht I think that's normal I mean it is for durian but yeah. it means it is expensive like you can get you know a bit of pineapple or probably the same amount of watermelon for like 20 or maybe maybe 30 baht and that was 315 baht so that's probably around 12 dollars Australian so we've got it here now. We're right in front of the, where's the sign? Is that it? Patea, Patea sign. And I, you know what? I've been here for two days and I still don't know how to say it. Patea, Patea, who knows? Leave me in the comments, but let's try this durian. Let's see if it's as smelly as everyone says it is. I kind of smelt it as soon as I opened the plastic bag. Normally you need gloves. You need gloves? Sometimes you need gloves, and you might want to use you the- You need gloves to hold the durian? You might want to use the plastic bag to, but then you haven't got a plastic bag for later, so I don't so know. So my hands are going to smell? It and looks the... like someone took a bite out of it. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Maybe they did. Look in there. It's not that bad, or... <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about it. <laughs> now, what's the consistency like? It's like rubbery. It's kind of like... Jackfruit? Like jackfruit, yeah, you're right. If... Give me a smell. <laughs> How's the taste? Because some people love it. 
It's honestly not actually bad. So people love the taste. Okay. Okay. I feel like it's a mix between mango, rock melon, and I think the jackfruit. Is it tasty? It's not as bad as I thought it was. Yeah, it smells worse than it tastes, right? It does. It smells, it smells kind of like it tastes, but it tastes better than it smells. Does that make sense? Would I buy it again? No. Am I glad I've tried it? Yes. <laughs> Give it a second. Okay. It's not bad after a week. Yeah, durian is not for me. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. But it's bad? It's not great. <laughs> But it's not, it's not terrible. I honestly thought it would taste like a pile of rubbish, but it doesn't. It's got like a weird texture. The texture's like soft, but stringy in a way. It's kind of like a mango with like the aftertaste of a rock melon. But the first taste that you bite is like kind of rank. But then after that, it kind of gets a bit sweeter. I don't know. It's really weird. It's a really weird fruit. I've never tasted anything like it. So just for reference, everyone loves this. This is called the king of fruits and we're actually right in the middle of durian season right now. So it is the perfect time to grab and try one of these bad boys. They're going to taste whoop, delish. <laughs> well, objectively. <laughs> so that's it for our day and our day trip to Kolan from Patea Beach. We spent all up around about 900 baht not including the durian. The durian was expensive. So just to recap, we took the big ferry over to Kolan. That cost 30 baht each. Then when we got there, we rented the motorbike. So that cost us 200 baht for a 150, 150? 155. 155 cc motorbike. So a really good deal, actually. We had the coffee and a little bit of light lunch slash breakfast at the cafe when we got there because it was pouring. And that was about 180 baht. Then when we got to the beach, you have to pay to sit on the little deck chairs and they were 50 baht each as well. So hundred for the two of us. And the last thing we bought was the jet ride, jet ski, jet, jet speedboat, speedboat <laughs> ride back. And that was 150 baht each. So all together for the two people for one day out on an island in Kolan was around 900 baht. So pretty good if you ask me. Make sure you like and subscribe, stick around and I Definitely want to be seeing some island life very shortly. Did I say like and subscribe? Even if I did, I'm gonna wait a second while you do it. <laughs> All right, now you've subscribed. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye vlog. Bye vlog.